hello all okay <laughs> welcome to the channel if you are new here welcome back to the channel if you're an oldie but a goodie okay let me find somewhere to sit this i always sit it over here and this is not like these boots are i gotta fix it so hello lighting come to me okay i did like a little 90s just a lip and a lash today because i wasn't trying to do much so I think it's cute. I think it's it's definitely given. But welcome to the channel. We're gonna do our ASOF haul for this week. So some housekeeping. You guys know I have a code with ASOF, which is D dash right twenty five, and it'll pop up in this area here. Um, the links to everything will be down below. If you cannot find a specific item, maybe I didn't list it, or when you go to it, it's a blank page or the home page of ASOF. It's just because. That specific item has sold out, so it's no longer available for the moment. But a lot of the times, ASOL does come back in stock or um, create like similar prints and similar items as well. So don't worry too much if the item you know goes out of stock because a lot of the times they bring it back or they bring something just as great. Um, and speaking of that, they do restock pretty often on their website. I know a lot of the times I'll be like, People are like, I don't see this stuff that you be trying on. I'm like, that's why I do the try-ons because I sift through everything. I find what I want, what I think is going to look good, what I think would appeal to you all. Um, and I haul it and link it and all that good stuff. And I give you a discount code, d dash 25 So, yeah. Um, how am I feeling? Let's do that really quick. I'm feeling really good. Um... I was very anxious for like a month. <laughs> I was very, very anxious, but now my active leisure, well, my active leisure, my athleisure, active wear slash leisure, lounge wear collection is finally available to you all. Um, you only have today, tomorrow, and Sunday left to shop, so um, definitely take advantage of that. But I did uh, two to three videos about that already, so if you haven't already, check out the um, video on that but I'm really happy because my athleisure collection is finally live so I was very very anxious about it I hinted towards it and all that good stuff but it's finally here so more housekeeping um, overall because of that I'm feeling really really good uh, it's not even feeling relieved because it wasn't stress it just was I'm ready I'm ready oh my gosh how's everybody gonna react I'm nervous but I'm ready you know so that is that. Now, um, I did have a wig sale. I'm not sure if there's many items left. I know a lot of the wigs, it may be like three items left, if that, um, for the wig sale. But on my head, I am wearing um, Nivea. Why did it take me so long to get her name out? Nivea, the closure unit, is what I'm wearing, which is kinky curly, and it's about 24, 26 inches. And yeah. So thank you ASOL for being a sponsor of my business I Want to Be, where I offer courses, merch, and I have an ambassadorship program. Um, and lastly, courses, merch, and planners. So um, I will be posting about all of that even more because I feel like it's time to go super hard. Like, it's time to go in. Like, I'm done playing. I'm done stressing. I'm getting on a schedule. I've been detoxing. I'm good you feel me so um it's just time to I feel like live up to my potential and because right now is one of the biggest things happening in my career and in life it's just like okay keep the momentum going um stay on your ish because clearly it has proven to be your ish okay <laughs> so stay up on it um no need to slack off so that's kind of how I'm feeling it's like um sometimes you get kind of what is it what's the word that everybody likes to use burnout <laughs> sometimes you get burnout and you know sometimes things you love start to feel overwhelming and but it's like no I don't want it to be overwhelming I want to be fulfilled passionate that fire that desire all of that I still have that drive and I just wanted to show more so that's what I'm feeling right now um if you want an in-depth video about just more personal stuff like that and how you deal with burnout and all that good stuff let me know so i know i did say i'm going to do a basics video because you guys said you would like to see it i'm going to do a shoe collection video um the short heels that i like to wear and the mini stylish versions that i do have um so i'm going to do that and let's just go ahead and hop into the haul 
because I have been rambling. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this first dress here, which is super cute, I'll come up close and get a little ruffle detail action. This is this bare face in it. I ain't even do my eyebrows, y'all. So I need to do them though. But this is just cute, okay? But I really like this. I think it is really, really like sexy elegant. So sex again. This is really sex again, okay? Um, I like the ruffle. I actually love how it comes across here. I think this is probably the problem area. And if it was just this and then nothing here, you probably wouldn't feel as in love with it, I feel like. Um, I do like that it comes like, you know, it comes to this asymmetrical hem. And I think that's cute and it adds a little more to it. But I also feel like, um, I don't know. I, I'm about to turn around and talk about that. But uh, I'm nervous about the back. I don't want it to ride up because I think the length where it's at is actually really good. So I wouldn't want it to ride up or anything like that. I feel like one of my shoulders uh, is like tucked in okay so i got it so now it looks how it's supposed to look back here um i think this is beautiful i actually love the cut of it um the simple like ruffle details and the off the shoulder all of that is really good um would i i would definitely go braless with this i don't think you necessarily need one underneath maybe a spandex short but because it is asymmetrical you might have a problem with this um leg showing so uh yeah not too sure about that but um you can also do like one of those high waist thongs um or briefs underneath if you do want to do some more smoothing it doesn't have any wiring or anything here but it still feels like it's not not supportive so it doesn't feel like it's not giving me any support because it does have like a uh, stitching i guess you'll say so I still feel secure in this. Um, yeah, you're gonna have a little bounce and stuff, but yeah, I actually really love this dress. Yeah, I know I love white dresses. So every time I get one and I really like it, I kind of keep it around. Okay, so I also meant to mention with that last dress that it did have a zipper, but I did step right into it. I love stepping into my items. I don't know why, but when I'm able to do that, I really love it. So it made me think about that is actually this one here. Um, I did have to put it over my head, but I didn't want to get any like lip gloss or anything on it. So I was very, very careful um, just to come up closer so you can see this print. This is what it looks like. And yeah, so this is actually floor length on me in the front. But you know, the back be doing its own thing. Um, I don't know how I feel about it just yet. Um, I feel very bridesmaid or tea party like i don't really know how to feel about it yet i think it's really the print although i do like small florals um i know some people don't it just is like maybe it's too much of it i'm not sure the butt definitely lifts it up in the back so we have that going on but yeah um i, mean, I don't know if it's the print if it's how much of the print it could be the style of the dress it is smocked hair and then you have like this little slight ruffly detail here um i feel like this part here i love but i also feel like i would love this if it was kind of that was ugly if it was kind of fit in flare you know so um kind of shorter fit and flare i would probably love this more but it just looks really kind of dated in a sense um or not maybe that isn't the word but it's definitely it's not giving what i wanted to give okay but i will say the actual quality of this dress if it is your style you would probably really love it because it is very good quality it's double lined and it almost feels like it's triple lined so you're not going to see much going on underneath and i also feel like i get a little bit of gathering here which um is because it kind of lifts up on the butt and hip portion of this and stomach as you can see so yeah but it is smocked here again ruffle detail i like this bodice portion or upper body portion like the dainty uh, straps with it as well but i think it's kind of the length for me where i would want it to be shorter and kind of just fit up here like it is and flared out a little bit and maybe even roughly uh swing like so um that's my only 
thing with the dress i think the but i'm definitely getting bridesmaid or tea party what are y'all getting down below all right so here we have this item why do i always do that it's like i'll be leaving on a one note and then be like okay so here we are <laughs> but no um i really love this dress okay maybe that's what that means when i come up here all low i love this but no, um, as you can see, this is like a nice um, ruffly detail here. I don't know if it reminds me of an oyster or a clam. One of those things with the, y'all know what I'm talking about. But that's what I'm getting here. Honestly, the first time I've ever tried something of this style, I'll say, that this had this specific ruffle. Like, look at it. It's so so pretty so um honestly i really really love this and you already know i got to keep it it's such a pretty l b d Ooh, had to swallow right there but no it's really such a pretty l b d um i like the slit it's it's like it's good you know it's given what it's supposed to give here um i don't know i feel like I really like solids and I've noticed that and if it's not a solid it's a stripe and if it's a floral it needs to be like boom boom bam you know but I like a good base that you can dress up like this is a really good base that I can definitely add so much to I would not even dress this down because I already feel like nah this is sexy this is that set it off dress and when you was going when she was going out this you know it was long on her but you know it's just like you got to set it off with this you have to but underneath um definitely probably a thong or a brief um high-waisted panty um if you want to do a short or spanks or something uh make sure it's the one legger sometimes people cut off one leg of their spanx to get that effect where you have one leg and then and you can also reverse it so um you can definitely do that to one pair of your spandex shorts if you choose to but i love this and this one does have a zipper in the back i did have to um unzip it and zip it back up and do some twisting and turning of the dress to get it on because i couldn't just step into it so in order to show you the full effect i had to get it zipped up or else the top of it would just fold over however with all of that being said honestly i really love this so um that is this lbd definitely keeping her around it can be date night it can be brunch it can be a night out with the girls whatever um this is just really really cute okay so let me stand right here so you guys can get the colors of this dress here um it's definitely given spring early summer vibes i'm definitely getting that we're stepping out and we're happy that the season is changing okay so that's the color scheme these pastels these really soft purples and blues and oranges and yellows so um as much as i really 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 looked on the site i was like oh my gosh i really want to try this dress i know it has potential so the only thing i would really want to do with this dress is size up like i really wish they had a 4x in this dress because i feel like the material it doesn't stretch the waistband does have stretch but the actual dress the material of this um has no stretch it's like a linen material if you've ever worn a linen suit <laughs> people always used to put their kids in linen suits my mom if it was something coming up the kids the boys had to wear linen suits okay but no um i think the what i want to say the goal the style the vision for the dress is there but i think the material is just too tight here and it's not giving the effect that i would want it to give with a dress like this um, it's something where I would want this to be a little more fitted. I would definitely put on a strapless because the girls wants to hang low, low. And because this is so high, the girls are visibly low. So I would definitely put on a strapless bra with this one here. But I think the vision for this was to be more fitted up here and to kind of have this roughly loose, flirty detail. Do I hate it? No, I actually really do like the dress and the vision that they had for it. But um, as far as the material, because it doesn't stretch um 
yeah it's really snug in the stomach area so um i think it kind of throw it could throw off the dress a little bit but would i still wear it probably okay but then you have the back here and i think the back is actually done exceptionally well um you kind of probably would want it to kind of be a little snug on the booty part um and then flare out a little at the bottom but i just need a little more a little few more inches in this area but then again it's fat girl summer okay so i'm gonna try to show y'all without showing y'all my butt because i have it lifted in the back so i have to stop it right here isn't this lovely isn't this beautiful i just um took the belt off and i will put it back on for viewers sake and then i just lifted this up and look how pretty this silhouette is so this is what i would want from this dress this is what i would want it to do and i even like how it scoops at the bottom i think this is definitely more of something that i would be willing to wear so um yeah having it more loosey goosey in this area here actually just gives it a whole different appeal so that's all i was saying with this dress and as you can see right here i will keep it around and i will wear it okay asap so that's all i was saying with this dress super cute like this i don't even know if i'm wearing this jumpsuit right but i'm up close so you guys can see the print of it all it's actually very very gorgeous but um i'm nervous i don't want no mid slip i gotta tighten <laughs> the straps a little bit so I actually have on my MK bra, which I have done several reviews for on this channel. Um, I hope I'm wearing this jumpsuit right. I honestly just kind of put it on how it fit on. I was like, well, we're going to try this and tie this and do all of that. But I think this is actually a really gorgeous jumpsuit. Um, I do feel like, yeah, it's a little revealing, but I mean, it's like a sexy tropical thing going on here. But yeah, just to be safe, I would definitely go for some pasties and I would tie the straps around the neck a little tighter just so there wouldn't be any nip slips or anything like that. But um, yeah, I would definitely mm, recommend wearing a contraption like this with this hair unless you just want, you know, your little natural girls to hang how they hang. That's cool too because y'all know I do that as well. But um, yeah, I think this is actually a really sexy, really fun jumpsuit, definitely given um i want to say like vacation but i'm definitely getting vacation with this uh super cute super cute so i feel like i'm in miami my best friend about to go to miami and i'm like dang i need this to go with you right now um but they flying i've never flown so comment down below how you feel about flying especially if you are a plus size okay a plus size individual let me know how you feel about flying but um yeah i've never flown but they're flying i'm like all right y'all have fun now but yeah that is this item here uh it is stretchy it's strappy uh just stepped right into it tie it around the neck and this is what you get it is a little long and i do get questions well what do you do when stuff is too long snip snip i am scissor happy i will gladly cut some material off of the bottom but the back is definitely open so you can see it is a little revealing back there so if you're not comfortable with that you might not be comfortable with this jumpsuit um but yeah it's definitely giving sexy vacation bay like that's all i'm getting So if you were if you was curious if you were curious how it looked without the bra on this is what it looks like this is my natural boobage um i still feel sexy in this jumpsuit i still think it is a sexy jumpsuit i like it like that you know get the little silhouette and all that good stuff but um yeah it's definitely really really busty and i do prefer to have the mk bra that just gives me that push together so just wanted to show y'all that really really quickly at first i was scared it's green but then i have come to love it um i think this is gorgeous like 
straight off the back i do think this is a gorgeous piece um it is lightweight i know i have been getting more into rompers so i've been feeling them more i've been wearing them more frequently than i ever have in my life okay so um even if that's just once a year i used to never wear rompers y'all but um i've been collecting them so now i have a nice romper collection thanks to asof i think again this color is really really pretty it's actually given in the summer going into fall vibes with the color um the material itself is really lightweight the style of it is cute i like the peekaboo um i don't think you have to worry too much about it pulling too much in the stomach area because sometimes with rompers and jumpsuits we do get that but look at this super duper cute um it does tie here it's off the shoulder but i would definitely do a bandeau or strapless underneath because it still comes a little high in this area uh so it kind of gives the girls an illusion of you know just doing whatever they want swinging wherever they want but yeah it's a romper so it's short and um i'll show you the bag that's why i mentioned that but i want to just talk about the sleeves really quick these sleeves are really really pretty they're not um dainty you know sometimes we get the off the shoulder and you get that one little piece of material i like that you still have room to breathe and move around and maneuver in this the material again is lightweight so um underneath you're definitely gonna get uh every lump dump dimple pimple whatever um you're definitely gonna see it but i like how it fits on the butt i think it's actually super cute it is a very very comfortable material it's just lightweight so whatever's underneath is going to be seen i would definitely probably just put on a good granny or a good super short black short or black brief and that'll be that with this here but um yeah other than that i actually really like this more than i thought i would i pulled it out and i said oh that girl lightweight i don't know how it's gonna look on but she's cute she real cute i was nervous y'all i was like oh my gosh i'm not gonna be able to show y'all this um this color is gorgeous let's start there this yellow is so so pretty i'm definitely getting like a deep golden yellow color it's just gorgeous um the jumpsuit itself um it didn't have it doesn't have a zipper i don't think so it's like basically strictly step in two but i was like, oh my gosh is it gonna work but it did work it went on um you do have the style of it so let me back up so you can get the full style so you see you see you see right <laughs> super cute um i love the color the style the cut is like different for me i'm like okay and that color that you see popping up i told y'all when the lights dim the true color comes up this is what it looks like in person so that is super gorgeous um i will say i feel like this yellow could have been the same shade but it's an interesting style i have never had anything like this that i actually remotely liked i feel like i may have tried something similar but i probably didn't really like it on but i think this is delicate um still a little edgy and trendy if you will but it's different i think it actually suits um I think it would actually appeal to all age ranges to be honest so um a very interesting jumpsuit here i like that it is flowy and loose and um it does have this belt has the built-in shorts so you won't have to worry about any mishaps um even that just boom is kind of cute so maybe a jumpsuit with a really long belt would be super cute and a hanging tail but either way <laughs> that is this jumpsuit here it feels good on i will say like i said i was scared that i couldn't get it on but once it was on it feels good it's not pulling in the stomach or the back area um so yeah that is this definitely a different style one of the newer styles that i've seen on asol this is just going with my whole 90s aesthetic i can see this with a pair of air forces the same lip maybe um i like this hair too so i love this so this is supposed to have like that u shape but it kind of just goes like that on me to be honest with you so um yeah either way i love this i think it's cute it's a short skirt as you can see um this zipper here is functional so you don't have to wear it open but i actually think that kind of kicks it off a bit and goes with the openness of the top here so you can actually wear it like that let's see if i can get the zipper back down we'll see 
Okay, so this is what it looks like with the zippers up and down. Still really, really cute. So this is definitely a vibe. It's like this nude, neutral color, um, kind of taupey, creamy. Uh, I think it's so gorgeous. It's definitely my vibe. That material is ribbed. If you didn't see up close, this is what it looks like. Super cute. Now the skirt is short. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. The skirt is definitely short. Um, but I expected that because it is a mini, I can also see this being worn with like, um, some boots and fishnets. So yeah, this is definitely my cup of tea. Super cute, super sexy. It's also even given a little sporty vibe too. So this is this one here. Absolutely love it. Um, I like the zipper up on the thigh. So something like that and then this down even if it's just a little bit like that i think that's cute have your gold jewelry your gold bracelets and um rings and stuff how cute i love this so um i need to say more no i don't so let's go ahead and hop into the next set and the last pair of joggers that i have all right so this jogger didn't quite work for me um i think it's like you know a simple a basic that you should have in the closet but um it's just it's not high enough it doesn't have like the stretch that i would want so yeah it didn't quite work but it's okay um i just kept that same shirt on from the last set but as you can see back here i do apologize my girlfriend is responding to the video i sent her that last set because i told her i loved it but yeah it just feels like i'm gonna get butt crack i don't know but that is this pair of joggers uh yeah my girlfriend and i quote about the last set she said i like it your lips all glossy and shit girl we're talking about the outfit so this hair i actually have this on as like a little hair tie i'm not sure if that's how it goes um would i put it together probably not i feel like it's a lot matchy matchy <laughs> and yeah nah so um you saw up close to print have this big rose here which is super cute um i actually like this more than i thought i would again i like it without the hair tie <laughs> no, i'm not even gonna hold y'all you do have this like short uh get up underneath and then um you have like this layer of material on top it is a stretchy spandex material meaning it does stretch um all over so i love the sleeves on the top even if i just keep the top alone i think this would be super cute now i would wear the headband and the top with like one of my headband wigs um but i would definitely just put on like a black jean and maybe like a pink or black heel or something clear um so yeah that is this two or three piece set and this is what the back looks like it looks like a dress from the back kind of but yeah that was my asap haul for this week i hope you guys enjoyed again this is the print of this piece or this set of clothes uh, as always, thank you all for watching and thank you ASOF for sponsoring this video and sponsoring my business. I want to be um, on my head, thrifty slay on my lashes, thrifty slay. Um, I don't think there's anything else to mention outside of I do have a coupon code D dash white 25. And um, if you haven't already, check out my new athleisure collection that I just dropped yesterday. Um, it will be available until Sunday, so get your hands on it while you can. It's buy two, get one free, um, and all of that good stuff. So sustainable, versatile, all of that. But it was something I feel like I wanted to ask. But anyhow, I'm pretty sure I already asked a random question for this week. But I will say comment down below your favorite piece. And lastly, all the links you may need um, will be in the description. And that coupon code, once again, is D-White25.